Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising Weekly Tarot and, Le and Lenormand reading um, for January 7th to January 13th, 2019 <clears throat> So while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces Star Sign and uh, for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different level with uh, different Pisces. And uh, because of it, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their uh, synergy in the spread. But ultimately, uh, you have to align them to your uh, personal situation for the most accuracy. Uh, so this is going to be a four card tarot spread, the first one which is the Tree of Swords, that is the topic of your week, followed by the Chariot card which is the core of the situation. Five of Cups here is the challenges that you need to overcome and the Two of Cups that will be the guidance that tarot is kind of offering. And in the guidance, in the guidance is where the key to this reading is. That is going to be an enhanced sorrow spread, so we are going to draw multiple cards per a position. And the first position, that is going to be uh, the Nine of Cups as well. So what happens here? Uh, well, that week Pisces is going to be what I like to call a, a circumstantial or kind of like collateral week. Or peripheral or I don't know well basically it's not going to um, affect you or the circum the um, the consequences are not going to affect you but someone else what happens here is that you will have to spoil your uh, your good position or your mood throughout the week or in general you know your situation throughout the week because you do have something to deliver one way or another it could be a strike that you have to deliver or the tree of swords mostly reflects the truth the truth that you have to deliver most likely into someone else it could be into a um, I don't know it, it could be to a friend of yours it could be to let's say your current partner into a relationship maybe you will have to deliver them the truth that you don't love them any longer and etc etc it could be that you have to deliver the truth to your boss that this project isn't working out or that you have lost a client or the company lost a client and etc etc the thing with this uh, with these cards here is that uh, your how can I place it the more well because the nine of cups is happiness I will try to say it that way you know the more good time you have throughout uh, throughout this week, the more you will realize that uh, this uh, these poignant circumstances here cannot be avoided, and or they cannot or the more you avoid them, the bigger circumstances you will have to face, or that person you have to deliver this message or this strike in another um, in another way said is has to uh, will have to suffer. The thing with the Three of Swords, however, these um, that uh, quote unquote damage is not going to be. Um, I will I will say I will say irreversible. I mean, whatever you have to say or whatever you have to do, uh, that damage which is going to inflict definitely is going to heal. Uh, further into the future. It is just with these cards that we do have, it will be sooner than later that you will have to give the bad news, that you will have to do the action which is going to hurt somebody and etc. etc. It is just we're talking here the necessity or that you will have to do the necessary thing that you are prolonging or postponing for some time and it may not be on on the plaza at this very moment it could happen let's say in Wednesday where you uh, realize that you have to do a certain thing which is going to hurt or it's going to place some people uh, or situations into a un uncomfortable uh, position so uh, literally this is uh, this is the topic here that you will have to do uh, an action uh, that will 
that will inflict damage to others one way or another uh, the uh, second card here is pointing to the core of the situation we do have the chariot card with the world card and uh, this is pointing to the inevitability of the of the situation itself the, the world card here points to that the deal actually have been sealed back in the past I mean someone could made a wrong move back there which the course of events as a result of that move move they made have led you to that situation you could have done some decisions back in the day which you know led you to that situation if we're following the example of saying to your partner into your relationship that you don't love them well maybe back in the past you have involved yourself into that relationship without loving this person because they were just nice you know I mean you women the women have that tendency to jump into a relationship just because the person is nice or just because the person has money or etc etc I guess the, the man as well but according to the code of conduct it is less likely but I guess the man does that as well well um, throughout the course of time you are falling to realization that despite of how good time you do have in this with this woman or with this guy um, you know things are never gonna be full and eventually the time of separation has to come around and uh, it is the week where you have to serve them the poignant news. The chariot card here it is uh, it is pointing that uh, literally that with the world it basically points that the deal we sealed the foundation had had been built and now the whole structure needs to take place which and has to be finalized which the piece of the uh, the um, the, the cake here it is this uh, this poignant either news or action uh, very important when you do so is to be very sincere when you do what is necessary or what you when you say the truth when you say what is necessary here uh, <clears throat> because uh, after this thing is finished a new perspective is going to emerge for you very very soon and it is important that you don't carry anything from the past when you are to embark that um, that new perspective it is it is important here that you liberate yourself from any kind of burdens and any kind of poignant experiences and the chariot it does point as well that it will this time around it will be very um, beneficial for you when you embark that new perspective to actually not make a, a premature jumps this time around but instead try to lay down the foundation first and then do what you think is best instead of doing instead of making the initiation and then trying to build up the foundation the third card that we do have this is going to be the five of cups which is the challenges causing predicaments with the ace of wands and pretty much uh, these cards are kind of like uh, showing that's uh, well I don't want to say it but they are showing uh, any attempt of your behalf to resuscitate that thing here and to avoid once again you know delivering this blow I will say it blow classifying underneath it a, a strike or a, a truth a message that you have to deliver maybe you will try to occupy yourself with these cards with different things not paying attention to what you feel and to what you want and to to what definitely the to what in general is right to be done and uh, actually doing so with these cards uh, it seems that you will be able to stall some time as well right but uh, it is highly unadvisable no that is uh, the, these are the cards which are causing predicaments which are causing problems which points that if you try to deny it to not not deny it but delay it once more for a, a month for a week or for a month or even for a year as i said the more you delay it the bigger afterwards when the ace of wands when the opportunities to delay it are already over the new enterprises which will allow you you know to kind of like deviate that to diverse excuse me to diverse the attention upon that thing when they are no longer in present then the full the five of cups takes its full um, manifestation 
And as we all know, Five of Cups is not a good card, especially emotionally. I mean, this points to a disappointment in some extreme cases, severe losses also, and in generally uh, when one dries out to proceed forth with, uh, with their agenda or with their, um, <clears throat> I would say, enterprise. But this is in the much more grand scheme of things. Because here we are talking about relationship and now we are going to talk about love in general if you try to stall it. For example, um, once this always resolved after a year or a couple of years, maybe you will lose hope that you are going to ever find love again. You know, in case we're talking about love, we are following that example of um, serving the, the news that you no longer love your partner into your relationship or your wife uh, in your marriage. <clears throat> and uh, that's why here uh, it's, it's very, how can I place it? I, it will be very valuable in the long run and very beneficial in the long run that you speak your mind. It's simply what these cards are pointing. Don't try to cut corners. Don't try to, I don't know the English word about that, but to uh, mask it with fictions or to give extensions and etc. etc. It's simply, it's simply ain't going to work out for a long run. It is just is going to be another extension after another extension until you, um, until you actually run out of opportunities to make extensions and the last one which is the two of cups that is the guidance that you should seek and that will be the three of cups next to it so guidance guidance wise this card points that you have to start spending time more with people that you actually have an emotional connection to with the three of cups next to it i can't say that that could be another person you like or you love uh, that could be a, a friend who truly understands you, a, a friend that truly knows what you are going through. So that is a, a person who had been there, who had to serve that bad news, who had to make those surreptitious actions, who had to uh, stab in the back, if I may express myself that way. Even this is not a stabbing in the back, this is you doing the right thing, even if it may seem that you are stabbing someone in the back, because let me give you that kind of a scenery here, you know, you leave the person that you love, that you don't love, excuse me, and from outside of the relationship, it looks like that you are abandoning a very nice and very um, kind of like taking care uh, of you guy or a girl for that matter but and people see only that you know that's only the material aspect but they don't see that this happiness you both are, are um, kind of like exposing or showing in the world it's a shell with nothing within it's just it's just the shell so uh, this here, it's no different, the way I see it, it's no different than a, a situation where um, couples, for example, are putting a, a brave smile uh, when they're outside, but they have severe issues indoors, uh, within home and in their relationship in general. And that's why it's very important here to uh, seek and spend and share your burdens and your pains for that matter with someone who um, have been there and someone who can understand you and someone who can feel for you as well that to me speaks to my very best friend I don't know about you it could be a, a part of your family let's say a brother or a sister it could be as well a mother of yours or a father someone that really understands you and takes your side no matter what why? It is because uh, the Two of Cups here says that uh, through uh, kind of like opening yourself to that person uh, and sharing your pain with them, that pain is going to become half the pain. And uh, with the Three of Cups, uh, this the, the conversations that you are going to have with them and basically the um, mutual experience that you will go, that you are going to share in between one another are also going to uh, expand your vision is gonna they are going to convince you even more that here by delivering the truth or by making the right thing for yourself was actually the right thing to do 
and uh, what we do have ultimately is that you should not allow to sacrifice yourself and your happiness for the happiness of someone else especially if you don't have an, an emotional connection toward that person career wise uh, these cards uh, again could, could play out that uh, a certain project failed your boss is um, doesn't know about it well you have to deliver the the rough news there and the more you delay it the the rougher the consequences for all of the company are going to become and as soon as you do it <clears throat> you know uh, well your boss may grieve may become into may fall into a state of despondency but it's going to be a very short-lived one because after that most likely they are going to give you or they are going to give to the company a, a new perspective to um, to work on if that is a loss of a client uh, very soon another client is going to replace the lost one and etc etc it is just here in that case the advice is that you don't confront your boss alone but uh, you know go try to go there in your boss's office with the collective that have worked upon the project itself or uh, they have worked for to win the client so that was the tarot reading for you Pisces and now uh, we are going to do a Lenormand reading what the Lenormand cards are to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid so the first card, this is going to be the star, and the star uh, stands for finding a way. It's literally for what it stands, finding a way, finding the right way. Then we do have the message. So, or, uh, yeah, the message, and the message is literally interpreted as message, something written, documents as well, email, and etc, etc. And the last one, wow, look at that, this is the cross. So what we do, the cross is associated with suffering, depression, and something bad in general. I mean, it's kind of like a despondency here. So, uh, well, they speak for themselves. I mean, you will find the right way to deliver a message of you know of a bad kind of like a bad message here a message of suffering a message of despondency a message of loss because the cross as well is associated with loss so um here the lenormand are pointing that maybe the reading is going to be more milder i mean it's going to um reflect a, a truth and a message that you have to say instead of making something all right or doing a, 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 a making a move which is gonna hurt somebody or is yeah it's going to put people into a stage of uh, of suffering and despondency so that being said Pisces this was your uh, weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was a general reading for Pisces star sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different level and in a different way for every single different Pisces. Pisces. If you want your personal situation however to be analyzed through tarot just like I did for the examples in this video by me uh, then that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.